Hi guys, Mulos here. So today's video, I'm going to show you how I withdraw from my two PayPal accounts. So the first things first, I'll log into my PayPal Lesotho account. Okay, so this is my PayPal Lesotho account. As you can see, I've got $120 in it, which I need to withdraw. So withdrawing this is a simple matter. Let me just scroll down a bit. Okay, so I've scrolled down a bit. So this is my balance, $120. Withdrawing this is a simple matter of me just going to transfer money. So I've got my Stanbic account linked to it. And uh, this is my Stanbic account. This is my Stanbic card, rather. So all I'm going to do here is just go through this. I'm transferring $120. The fee is $107.5 kwacha. It's fixed at that. The exchange rate is 24.22. So this is a very low exchange rate. Currently, the exchange rate is about 25, 24, anyway, but it's somewhere close still. So I'm going to get a total of 2,799.61. I'll simply transfer now. And here you have transferred this much kwacha. It takes one to three days to reflect. Uh, I've already received a message from Stanbic. The funds have reached. Let's go to my Stanbic account. I'll just log in, put in my username, password, log in. And here we go. So the Visa Direct fund, it comes in via Visa Direct and it's practically instant. So this much has been received in my Stanbic from PayPal. So that is how I withdraw from my PayPal Lesotho or Lesotho account. Okay, so now I'm in my PayPal South Africa account. And as you can see, I've got a $4.84 in this. So with PayPal South Africa, the only way you can withdraw is to a South African bank account. In my case, I do have a South African bank account, which is linked to my PayPal. So I'll go to it. I'm going to log into my FNB South Africa account. Now, in this particular case, I've got two bank accounts in South Africa. I've got the South African non-resident bank account. I cannot use that to withdraw PayPal funds. And I do have a business bank account, a registered business in South Africa. That's the one I'm going to use. So I'll log in. Okay, so I've logged into my FNB South Africa account. I'm just going to go straight to Forex. Then here, Forex, there's a PayPal services. I'll click on that. All right, so here you've got a sort of uh, portal for PayPal where you can uh, PayPal withdraw, maintain profile, PayPal history, and all these other things. I'm just going to go to the PayPal withdraw. Okay, so you see within the PayPal portal, I can even see my PayPal email, my PayPal balance, and uh, I can withdraw to account. I'm going to choose my business account. Uh, the withdrawal amount in US dollars, 4.84. Then I'll continue. So here it's now going to pull out my name, my first name, last name, phone number. And uh, here it's going to preferred contact method. It's going to contact me via email, my physical address and all. Then I'll continue. Okay, so I needed to actually add my the suburb and the province and all. And I'll continue. Then there's going to be a balance of payments codes. So this is my, basically my travel as a non-resident. Then this is what I received it for. Then I'm going to save. Okay, so next I'm just going to continue. I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree to both. Continue. Then I'm going to look at all of this and then proceed. Then I need to agree to the quote. Okay, the PayPal transaction in progress. This can take up to 30 seconds to complete. Okay, so it's done. Your withdrawal transaction has been submitted and may take up to three business days to reflect in your account. I can view details if I want. Okay, and here are all the details. I'm going to get 90 rands, 51 cents. The rate is 18.702. Uh, uh, it's about 30 cents off the rate. I think it's 19.02, if I'm not mistaken right now. And uh, the fee is going to be 1 rand, 37 cents. Anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section and I'll try to answer your, com your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Mulos, bye.